going to a park, go and do some hiking. It's a pretty beautiful day. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jonathan. Take care. Drive safe. All right, so Jonathan was a big help. Uh, I didn't know exactly the best route was to get to the top of the mountain. And we were going to drive because I didn't know much information about it, but he suggested taking this, which is the cable car. So of course, that's a cooler option and a shorter option and cheaper. So. Those are all good things and the view is going to be a lot better probably than uh, taking the taxi so very cool so we're excited we're gonna take it all the way up i believe that way and then uh all the way down so it's like a dollar each ride so how can you beat that it's very cool and you get to appreciate the views so here's the beginning and we'll walk in and get some tickets so we're going up that way One season? Yeah. So there's no rainy or dry season? No, there just is some moments, some months, but it's just a bit. It's not that much. Well, this is pretty good temperature, good weather to have all year round. Sometimes it's a bit colder, but it doesn't drop that much. It just goes to like, what, 26? Yeah, 26. 26 is pretty nice. All right, so we just got off one. Now we're going to the next one and continue up this way. To the left, uh, it's Envigado and Itagui. Sabaneta. Sabaneta. Surrounded by pines all the way around. <laughs> so, if you guys remember the cable car we took in Vietnam, that was probably maybe 20 minutes i'm not sure i don't remember but this one how long was this one about 15 minutes yeah or so wow so this one is pretty long as well more than long it's slow so you can appreciate you really appreciate everything yeah it's got really amazing views before it's going like straight up now we're kind of going we're starting to plateau off and just going through the woods all right hey guys so we had a very nice help from uh, our friend here. We, I was walking through and we were like lost puppies walking around and he picked up on that and really did help us out. And what was your name one more Liam. time? Liam. Yeah, Liam. Yeah, All right. Liam. And uh, do you want to promote uh, Colombia? Just like, what, <laughs> what, what do you think? Uh, some people are a little hesitant of coming here maybe. What, what can you say to uh, reassure well, them to come? We have great touristic places, great culture. There's nice people, there's bad people, all, like in every Everywhere country. In the world, yeah. yeah. I agree. And so far, I hasn't been d disappointed. No matter where I've gone, um, 
usually there's someone there to help. Like, uh, you know, you just ask. And even if um, they don't speak English, they, deal, they still um, help you. Like today, uh, I didn't have a card. So the person at the guard let me use his card. And then after that, he saw me. He actually gave me a card to use from here on out. So just wherever you go, there's very friendly people. And I just want to say thank you, man. Really, really thank you. I would have been lost. We would have still been down at the beginning, figuring out where to go. Because there's trains, buses, and finally the, finally the cable car. And this is the best way to come up here, so the yeah. cable car. So, bro, thank you so much. All right, so here is the map. There are guided walks, which is recommended. Um, that's 50,000 per person. We are going to try to do this on our own. So I think we're around here. Um, the person did say to walk down the steps, go down, and then try to find. We might have to walk the road a little bit, go to the police station, and there should be a trail. This is the at least the plan. It might not work out this way. This is what we're going to try to do is walk this and then from here uh, you can either go left back up here or go down and there's like a little picnic area or something down here. Anyway, this is the map. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to end up, but you can see it's a huge place. So there's a few different uh, map applications that I use. This one is Maps Me. Uh, I'm going to see how this one is today. I just pin my location because the cable car does end at 6 so you have to make sure you get here at 5 30 but so far this is pretty cool it's a very nice park there's a little restaurant in the beginning some coffee some different things to buy very clean area so here's the name if anybody is interested to come here so if you want to take a walk alone you've come to the right place if you want to hike in solitude this is not the trail yet we have about a 10 to 12 minute walk to the beginning of the trailhead so that's where we're going now but there's not a lot of traffic or anybody around here these flowers almost look fake. All right guys, so we're just walking down this road. This is not the path yet. We still have a few more minutes. It should be right up there, but check this out. They do have gates or uh, barbed wire, but look at this. Oh, how cool is that? I think I'm gonna walk in there just to see what's over there. Wow. It's cool in here. The temperature really drops. Wow, you can barely fit through here. Wow, it's really tight. Oh. That's crazy. I'm not going to go too far. This is wild. I don't know what this is used for. All right, so this is about as far as I'm gonna go. So it does say warning, do not walk the trails without a guide. But we did talk to uh, someone down there and they said we are able to. But they said to walk to the police station, which is right here, Policia. All right, so we're kind of getting off the paved road at least. Now we're on some gravel. So this is pretty cool. Get into the wooded area more. All right, guys, so here's our options. We can go left to see Hannibal Cannibal or right to see Freddy Krueger. So let's see, I think this is the correct path. So there are so many different trails going every which way. And luckily, this one is Maps Me, but Maps Me and Google Maps pretty much have the same map to show. 
So as long as we're on the straight line, you can kind of see there the, the white dotted line. So here it kind of splits off. You usually can't tell right away if you're going the wrong way. So we're just going to go this way for a little bit and see where it leads. I did some hiking in uh, Australia and it feels kind of the same out here. This is really nice. So I'm guessing this is for horses. You can see their hoof marks. It'd be cool to see some wildlife. I'm not sure what kind of wildlife they have here. If they have monkeys, deer. I wanna see something. Even a snake would be cool. So here's the LaFleur Trail, giant hug. To feel the earth, one must embrace it. It is felt in the trees, feeling the rain, listening to the birds, smelling the forest, touching the fog. Feel the earth come alive, embracing this pine. Close your eyes and breathe deeply. Both will give each other life. All right, let's try it. I hear some people coming that way. That is a fuzzy plant. I can imagine touching that, you'll be itchy. Got some thorns on there. That noise is eerie. Hola. So that is one way to take these trails. All right, so continue taking a left, and it says, this is the guava of the mountain. You guys know what guava is uh, in the Philippines. It's a nice little uh, fruit you can eat. It's really delicious. But anyway, it says, in the park, there are several species of guava bush. So we'll see if that's the same one. Hopefully we see something that has the fruit. Uh, their hardwood is used for making fences, poles, and tools, firewood, and as building material. Its fruit is food for wild birds, or I think humans too. All right, guys, so the guava, we haven't seen that yet, but right after that sign, we saw this one, Martino, hopefully I'm not saying that right, uh, the Martino vaccinium. Mora dianeo is a bush fruit desired by many species, including humans. Also known as sour grapes, the Martino is used locally to produce wine, jams, and sweets. That looks pretty good. Hmm. Not bad. I'm not going to swallow it, but... It is pretty tasty. Hmm. So this looks like a fern, a giant fern. We have those by my house. I've never seen it this big. And this is actually a smaller one. So if you guys know if this is a fern for sure, <coughs> let me know. I think it is. But look, they get pretty large. Look at this one. He's right here. Pretty large. All right, guys, is this a banana stalk? 
Look at the size of that. That's like that thick around. Those leaves are huge. Imagine having a Buddha fight with those. You can feed the whole village. Wow, I don't see any bananas though. So we kept walking along the road. We found this little nature area. River going through here. Looks like some waterfalls. Nice spot. This rock is super slippery. This water is freezing cold. And the rocks below are very slippery. It looks pretty clean though, so far. I'm pretty much sliding on my feet right now. So we started from here, came down, walk this, up here, walk down, did the little river, came back down, and now we're back here. So I think we're going to walk this way and then eventually get back to the cable car. So we better make a move because uh, it does close at 5.30 or that's the last calling. Looks like they have fish ponds on this side. And another one over there.
Alright guys, so this is pretty much where we started. Um, I definitely recommend uh, this park. It's really a good experience. There's so much stuff to do. There's biking, there's swimming, there's kayaking, I think. We didn't even get to see any of that. We just saw like a small portion. So you can come back here multiple times. You can definitely get your money's worth. Uh, and pretty much free. We eat. I think the best way to go would be take the buses back and forth and we walked everywhere. But the only thing that we did um, have to pay for was the cable car up and then cable car down. So uh, it's actually not so bad uh, budget wise. But anyway, uh, here's my coffee. Very tasty. And then this is actually my first time uh, eating the empanada. And this is uh, pepperoni. That's a big hunk of pepperoni. It reminds me of pizza, but I have no idea how it tastes. Mm. Good. Some big hunks of pepperoni there. Very tasty. So I think there's other kinds. There's cheese. There's cheese too. So it's like a pizza kind of. Like a calzone if you ever had that. Alright guys, so I think that's it. We'll just enjoy this. We have about 20 minutes until it actually starts to close. You're supposed to be there, I think, at 5.30. But anyway, very good day. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are doing good. Um, yeah, okay, we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.